going to create the basic pattern, repeat pattern with my photo. So I'm on my slide and I'm going to go on insert, image, and then go to drive to find my photo. Here it is. I'm going to drag it over. So first of all, I want to make that smaller because I'm going to create multiples of it. So I'm just pulling on the bottom corner handle there and making it a lot smaller. Then I want to duplicate it. So I'm right clicking and I'm going to go copy and then right click again and go paste. So there it is. I want to have it exactly level with the photo. So I use the red lines that are coming up if it's not fully level, whilst I'm still holding it, I can press the shift key down and it should enable it to be in exactly the same place, but it's not working for me, so yeah, there. Okay, now if I want to repeat this along, I can still keep on just going, right click, paste, to create a new one, move it over, right click, paste, create a new one. I could speed things up for myself a little bit by selecting them all, right clicking, going on group down there and that will group them all together, so you see they're all one group and then I could right click, copy and then paste again, shift them along further. Okay, it's just hanging off the edge of my slide there for the moment, so no big deal. I could keep on right clicking it and pasting until I can finish this whole thing. But I also want to show you that all of these right clicks that I'm doing are actually also functions up here. So, edit, paste, move it along. If I wanted to group all of this together now, select, actually I don't want that title up there, so select all of these together and then go arrange, group, edit, copy, edit, paste, another block, move it down, use the red lines, I have a basic repeating pattern. Okay, I'm going to go to the next slide and this one I'm going to do as, actually was that right? I'm going to do as a tessellated pattern. So tessellate, let's fill it right. I'm going to do it slightly differently. So find my image again. So insert image in my drive, drag over. Okay, make smaller by pulling the corner. So I'm going to copy and paste. So right click, copy, right click, paste. But I'm going to do something slightly differently here. I want to flip this. So to do that, I'm going to go on rotate, so right click rotate, and then I'm going to try flip horizontally. So can you see it's made a mirror image of the image that's next to it. It's left a little white line down the middle so I could just use my cursor to move it across slightly or I could just physically pick it up with my mouse and keypad to do that. I'm going to make another set of this and then flip it and mirror it down here. So I'm just going to pick that up together, right click, group, to join them together as one, you see. Then I'm going to go and copy it again, so right click, copy, right click, paste, and drag it down here, but I want to mirror it so it's um, like a mirror image of that up there. So right click, rotate, flip vertically. There we go. Move up so it joins. Do I have any gaps? Not by the looks of it. 
And I want to join these together, so I'm pressing down on my mouse key to select them all and right click group. Okay, so I've got them as a block now. So I could copy and paste a few times, move them over. So copy, paste, shift along. Got any gaps? Yes. Shift back. There we go. Um, I can keep on repeating that for a bit, actually. So because I've got this like almost mirrored image thing in here, so I could keep on going paste. So you'll see it's similar to the image that we did before, but ever so slightly different because of the the flipping. Okay, so can you see that to that? Okay, next thing that I can try, I can try a change in colour. So I could actually, if I just, hang on, which ones are these? These are all separate. So I could copy all of these there, but just go copy and paste. So I haven't grouped this time. I'm dragging the mask, they're all still together. Have I got any gaps? I have. Maybe I'll just highlight them all, move it up one there. Okay, so there's something else I can do here in theme. I can change colours of things. Oh, no, not that kind of theme. Which one is it? Is format options, that's it, not theme. So I've clicked on my image, format options. And there's this thing called recolor. I can change that. And I can maybe change the colour slightly in a pattern. So maybe I'll try orange for that one. Okay. Maybe I'll leave that one fine. And then I'll change that one to orange as well. So I'm creating almost like diagonals of colour there. Maybe if I, maybe I'll try yellow for that one. Oh, no, that's too bright. Try that yellow. And then, so I'm creating like a diamond pattern there. So that's tessellating with recolouring using format options and recolour. All right, next one, random. Find image, insert, image, drive, pop it over. Okay, make small. All right, instead of just having them flat there, I'm gonna try and rotate it. So I'm gonna put it at an angle. It tells me what angles I've got this at actually. All right, I'm gonna take that one copy, paste, but I'm going to flip it straight away. So right, right click, rotate, oh, which one is it? Horizontally or vertically? Try horizontally, yep. Okay, so I've got that there. I'm going to try taking this one again, copy, paste, but I'll rotate this manually like that actually they're all backing into each other maybe I can just tweak them slightly to make them fit a bit better into a triangular format is that gonna work okay right now highlight them all together right click group and I'm going to try copy paste I'm going to try repeating these in a slightly different way okay is that going to work let's try copy paste again So 
And actually that would then come down there, wouldn't it? So what would be, I'll click paste, the next thing for up here, if that is there, into that corner, that be up there. Not sure, this is where we play. I think that's working. Is that creating a repeat pattern? Looks like it. One more. Yep. Okay. So you might think of other things that you can do with it. Are there any other patterns that we could make? Is there anything that I'm missing? This is where you should have a go. Maybe 